Hey guys, picking up where we left off. When we last were together, you saw why I hate catfish. Now, here we go with the rest of a really great day. Okay guys, we switched gears because the instant I came out of that canal, I immediately had what we're gonna call a fun-sized tarpon roll right in front. Oh, I got another one on the voodoo shrimp, boys. Voodoo striking again. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, okay. What we got here is something that we're gonna take, fellas. What we got here is a black drum. Let's get away from this dot. All right. Oh, shit. My whole damn reel just came apart. Okay, well, let's don't panic. Can y'all see this? Guys, that's a $300 reel, and it just came apart on me. I found the part that came off. Let's get it in our pocket where we won't lose it. And let's get this fish in the boat. Okay. Whew. Look at there. Black drum in the net. Let's get the hook out of him. Can y'all hear him drumming? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put him on the fish grips where he ain't gonna get away for a minute. And we're gonna leave him in the water. And again, since we are new to this area, we are gonna go to our fish rules app My hands are wet, so my phone's not working so great. Here's my fish rules app. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. But let's look at, let's go to drum family, black. All right, so we are 14 to 24 inch is our keeper slot size. And I am certain he's gonna make that slot. But just to, be 100% for sure because I know somebody will get after me if I don't actually measure him to be certain let's put him on the bump board we'll take him off the fish grip for this he drumming away and look at there fellas he's bumped on the front and he is 19 inches so he's a keeper. So I think we're gonna keep him. Okay guys, we're being super quiet because we just pulled up on this dock and there are tons of fish rolling right in there. We're gonna get eaten super fast. Great, right. we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. Get him out of there. Ah. I knew we were going to get eight immediately. Okay. So tough to get him out of there. Well, the good news is he didn't cut me off. Boy, he frayed the you-know-what out of that line, though. Okay, we're taking one more shot at that big stack of dock monsters up under there. I kind of moved out of the way to get everything re-rigged. So hopefully I wouldn't just spook everybody out of there. Oh, it's so hard to get him in there. I don't want to kill him because I eat him best when he's swimming hard.
he's eight, and we're on. I don't think he's huge. Whoa, he's a tarpon. <laughs> Did you guys get to see that jump? Let's go, let's get him out of that dock. All right, we got him out of the dock. So that's the first part of the battle is won. But nothing's ever over with on a tarpon. <laughs> oh, they are just one jumping machine of a fish. And he's in the net. Woo! And he still ain't done, is he? <laughs> well, look at there. Woo wee! Finally, boys. Hey, if you'll get done with all that mess, I'll get you off that hook. I should have let him swim longer, but I didn't want him to spit the hook. Right now I gotta be careful because I don't know where the hook is. A little buddy. I'll be darned. The hook passed all the way through the opening <laughs> in his lip. And he's basically created a stringer for himself. <laughs> Would you look at that? All right, that's pretty neat. Never had that happen before. Stop, stop, stop. All right. So I think what we'll do, found the hook here now. We'll just cut it off. And we'll pull it all the way, pull the line all the way through, and he is off. And there he is. And guys, let me tell you something. You're never going to find a prettier fish than one of these. Would you look at that? Silver and purple. Just absolutely beautiful. All right. There he goes. So, as far as tarpon go, he was a baby, but boy was I pleased to have him. Even a baby tarpon is still a tarpon and puts up a heck of a fight. Woo-wee! All right, guys. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are calling it a wrap. Uh... We had a great day today. Uh, the weather turned out really nice. I was a little nervous when we got here with all that thunder and such, but it turned out great. Uh, water conditions were okay. They weren't fantastic, but they were okay. Fish were definitely biting. Uh, we didn't have any trophies today, but we had a ton of species, and we had several that were certainly respectable sizes. We had four or five snook. We didn't get them all on video because the battery was dead, uh, but we got quite a few of them on video. We had a Jack Creval. We had a Keeper Black Drum, which is coming home, and we're going to have a dinner with that. Uh, and let's see, what else do we have? We had a whole slew of nasty catfish. And off the top of my head, that's all I can remember. Oh, duh, and a tarpon. Another tarpon in the boat. Wasn't a very big one. But tarpon, even little tarpon, are awesome. So stay tuned. We'll be home in a bit. We'll get that fish cleaned up and get started. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Who's hungry? I am. You pedal around the kayak for like six hours. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be tired, wore out, maybe be in need of a beverage and definitely something to eat. So let's work on that. We are going to cook. As y'all saw, we brought only one fish home. Everything else got turned loose. The one we brought home was that black drum. And I don't know about you guys, but at our house, we like tacos. So we're going to make tacos today. 
And tacos are gonna start kind of like gymnastics. You ready? We're gonna tumble, we're gonna flip, we're gonna have spirit fingers, all that <laughs> stuff. No, we're not doing that. But in gymnastics, what do they always talk about? They talk about sticking the landing, right? How they get the high score by sticking the landing. Tacos are the same way, guys. You gotta stick the landing. And how you stick the landing in tacos is with the sauce that goes on top. Bam. So let's start with the finish, right? It makes perfect sense. So what we're gonna make, we're gonna make a creamy avocado sauce to go on top of our yummy, yummy tacos. <laughs> and we're gonna start, by the way, you wanna admire, oh, ignore my <laughs> beverage. You wanna admire our beautiful uh, oh food God. processor. Look at this thing, pretty sure it's an antique. When, you're, when the plastic in your appliances <laughs> begins to turn yellow <laughs> rather than white, it's got a little time on the planet and that's okay. So here's what we're gonna make in our food processor. We're gonna start with a little bit of Mexican crema, right? Mexican sour cream, basically. We're gonna put a whole container of that in there. Bah, 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 bah. Perfect. That's a scientific precise measurement, by the way. It's called a bat bat. Then we're going to take one whole avocado, which I have pre-mushed up. because I didn't figure you guys want to sit around and watch me peel and mush an avocado. Then what we've got here was the biggest damn jalapeno you've ever seen in your life. I mean, this thing was giant. It looked like a freaking zucchini. And I cut it up. In our house, we like spicy, but at the same time, I mean, come on. We're not like, you know, lava walkers either. So in this giant jalapeno, I took out about maybe a little more than half of the seeds. So we left almost half. So we'll have a little bit of heat in there, but manageable. Then this is a whole handful of fresh cilantro. You guys should look back at the channel. You'll see a video that Aaron posted the other day. We went to, a, to an Asian uh, farmer's market, and that's where all of our produce came from, right? Our cilantro, our onions, our limes, everything came from there. So. We've got the cream, we've got a whole avocado mushed up, also from the food mart, or from the farmer's market. Then we've got a jalapeno, then we've got cilantro, now we're squeezing a lime in there. A whole lime. I, oh, not the whole lime. We don't want to put the whole lime in there. We just want a whole lime's worth of juice. I'm about to burn the house down. I'm preheating over here and things got out of hand. Okay, back to the back to the strong finish that we're starting with. All right, cream, jalapeno, cilantro, lime. We need a little bit of salt in there. Himalayan pink salt, I might add. A couple of pinches of that goodness. And guys, get ready. Get ready to start with your strong finish. I don't have the lid on this antique properly. That one. All right. And just like that, there's our strong finish. Let's test it, shall we? Open the hanger, here comes the airplane. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good. Give it, what do you mean it's good? That's good. Okay, it's, okay, it's good. <laughs> that's the description that we're getting here. Okay, now, on to the main event. We're gonna take our, we've kinda preheated. <laughs> it's smoky in here. Yeah, about burning the house down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention. Also, I have in here, a little bit of lettuce. Let me show you another secret. Sometimes I like to double dip my sauces just to add a little variety. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This stuff will change your life, okay? Acid League mango jalapeno cilantro vinaigrette. 
So good. I've just got a little bit of lettuce here is all this is. It's some romaine. And I just want to, we're not going crazy. Just wet it on. Just a tiny bit. And we're going to just toss it. Just to give a little bit of, a little something something. A little zing to it. Tiny bit more. I want a little underboard. <laughs> now see, like we're not trying to dress a salad here, right? We don't want a lot on there. Just a tiny, tiny bit, just to spruce that lettuce up a bit. Okay, next on to the main event. She always lays there when I'm cooking. If we're cooking, she has to come in front of the stove. Hey, baby girl, come on, let's go. Oh, scoochy, scoochy, thank you. Okay, the main event for tonight is of course that black drum. So what I did is I just filleted him and then I took the fillets and cleaned them up real nice, got all the pin bones out of them and all that ick that we don't want. Then when we cook fish in our house, we actually like to taste fish, right? We don't want fishy flavor, but we want fish. So we don't egg wash it. We don't soak it in milk for a long time beforehand. We don't do all those things that folks do to absolutely wipe away any hint of fish. We like to keep it very simple. Uh, for my batter, I have one breading that I really like. I've used it since I was in high school. And here it is. Very simple, Louisiana seasoned fish fry. This is it, that's all you need. And don't add anything, just the way it is. Don't egg wash it, don't soak it in milk, don't do it, don't put Dr. Pepper on it, come on! Just cook some fish. And even then, I don't like a whole lot of breading, right? We're eating fish. Let's eat fish. So we're gonna take a few pieces. You wanna come a little closer here? We're gonna take a few pieces and we're just gonna lightly dust them. And that's it. We don't want a whole lot. And watch this. Oil should be hot. Yes, it is. Lightly dusted. We're not gonna double coat. We're not gonna do any of those extra things that are not necessary. Get the next few pieces ready here. You notice I cut it up really small instead of having a couple of great big old fillets. I just like it that way because it cooks more evenly and more quickly. When you have a whole fillet, you got, you know, some of it's really thick and some of it's really thin. That's how Bobby Flay cooks um, fish. Oh, well, if Bobby Flay does it. Right. It's good enough for Bob, it's good enough for me, right? Mm. And guys, it cooks super fast. We're just giving everything a quick turn in here. It's gonna cook super fast. Oh, it smells so good. And then, obviously, you probably also notice in the skillet, I only have a tiny bit of oil. Guys, when we fry fish, it doesn't have to be swimming, right? It doesn't have to be deep fried. Deep fried doesn't mean it has to be in a foot of oil. Just put a little bit of oil in your skillet and you'll be good. And then, even once it's done cooking, we want all that, the little bit of residual oil that's there, we want it gone. So we're gonna take it out of here. In just a minute, it's not quite done yet. And we're gonna put it on a ceramic plate, not a plastic plate, a ceramic plate with paper towels to absorb that last bit of oil. Mm, I'm hungry. While this is cooking, I'm gonna start getting a few tortillas warming up here. Aaron and I originally are from Texas, and in Texas we don't microwave tortillas and we don't steam tortillas. We heat them up on cast iron. Well, that one didn't want to turn. There you go. Just a little teaser. You guys ready? 
Is it hot? Mmm. That is... Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> right? Fresh fish. This fish never even touched the refrigerator. Oh, that batter's really good too. So when we first, when I got done fishing, uh, I bled the fish there. We kept him alive the whole time we fished in the water. Then when I was done, I bled him out, put him on ice, hauled him home on ice, oh my gosh. washed the yak, cleaned everything up, got everything squared away, then pulled the fish out the ice, filleted him, never even hit the refrigerator. Oh, mommy. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So this is all done, look, it's nice and golden brown. Let's get it out of here and let's get it draining that last little bit of oil. Oops, I'm burning a tea here. Not perfect. Real quick, throw the tea down in the warmer. Also, if you don't have one of these, make a road trip to Texas and go get you one. <laughs> You may have to drive for 37 and a half hours. We've had that And it'll be well time. worth it. We've had this for probably 20 years. Yeah. And you can't go wrong. Go get you. Okay, let's get the rest of this fish done real quick. The other thing to a great taco is don't overdo it, right? I'm gonna throw a little bit of lettuce on there. Don't forget the most important part of any gymnast routine. That's the strong finish. That's our creamy avocado dip. Trade me. Me? <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> oh no, really? No. Uh -uh. Let's see what she thinks, guys. Okay. Mm. Hey guys, sorry. File got corrupted and lost the last little bit of footage. The tacos were unbelievable and the rest of the day was even better. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Touch that little red box below that says subscribe. Make it turn gray. If you enjoyed watching this, give us a quick thumbs up. Let us know. Guys, thank you again for coming. Uh, if you don't go, you don't know. See ya. Bye.